Hi guys, Brain Skirl, I am back with another video, and do you know how we're really original on this channel? Well, we're going back to Buzzfeed quizzes. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so the first one that we've got is, which of these fictional places would you rather visit? It's literally going to give me two places that we could visit that are all fictional, and I have to pick which one I'd rather go to. So we've got Narnia, or the Emerald City. Both pretty terrible options, really. On the one hand, you've got to you've got Narnia, go and meet Mr. Tumnus and that. But on the other hand, you've got the Emerald City where you can like I don't know, go and meet a talking scarecrow. Well do you know what? I'm Brain the Scary Lion and it's been pointed out that well what's so scary about me? So let's go with the one with the cowardly lion in. 33% of people agreed with me. Fair enough. Next we've got Whoville or Wonderland. Truth is, both places are very weird. And my psyche, very weird. So, pretty much I'd love to go to both places. But out of them both, it's gotta be Whoville on it. I mean, the Grinch is there. 69% of people disagree with me. Fair enough. Next, we've got Hogwarts or Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. We've got a place filled with magic or we've got a place filled with food. I pretty much think I'm gonna go with a place that's filled with food because I am a fatty. I won't deny it, I love food. Only 27% of people said, yeah, fair enough. I know, like, there's so many Harry Potter fans and that out there. But you're passing up sweets, people. What are you doing? Next, we've got Zootopia or Neverland. Truth be told, I've never even watched the film Zootopia. Uh, I probably should watch it, like, I don't know. I like cartoon stuff. But, yeah, I've never actually watched it. Neverland. Would I have to fly around in green tights? Would I have to, like, follow Peter Pan and all them lot? You know what, talking animals, Zootopia, let, let, let's go with that. 44% of people agreed, so most people want to go to Neverland and, you know, lay around in tights. I just couldn't wear tights, like, I, I, I just couldn't. They'd be too constricting. Next we've got a beloved old classic Halloween Town, or a beloved old classic Jurassic Park. It's going to be Jurassic Park, it's dinosaurs, come on. I mean, even if they break out and I'm running for my life, it's dinosaurs. What kid doesn't dream about being around dinosaurs? 50-50 on that one. So it's definitely split. I can see why. Both of them would be so much fun, but yeah, Jurassic Park just takes the edge for me. Now we've got Gotham City or The Shire. Well, yeah, this one's so easy for me, and that's literally because, as you guys know, I'm a big comic book nerd. Yeah, I kind of guess that more, more people would want to go to the Shire because I, I do think that... Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Lord of the Rings is more popular than Batman. But, do you know what? We don't all share the same views on everything. Now we have Springfield or Dimsdale. Now this one is a tricky one. I grew up watching both of these. Uh, on the one hand, you've got Dimsdale, which is from Fairly Odd Parents. But on the next one, you've got... Springfield, The Simpsons. Now, if you tell me you didn't like The Simpsons in at least one point in your life, I'm pretty sure you're lying to me. Like, I, I no longer like it. The truth, that, that's just the truth. I don't like The Simpsons anymore. I think it just became stale. Yeah, I did used to love it. Do you know what? In Dimsdale, I can have all of my wishes granted for me. So, Dimsdale. 34% agree. 66 against, well, The Simpsons is more popular. Let, let, let's just be honest. The Simpsons is way more popular than Fairly Odd Parents is. Next one, I, I, I don't get why these two are put together. Orbit City High School, I think that's from the Jetsons, maybe? And the Death Star. I mean, like, I, I kind of remember the Jetsons. I know I watched it, but I was young. Like, I was, I was proper, proper young when I watched it, so... I don't remember much about it, but the Death Star, think about it, it's Star Wars, I'm visiting the Death Star, 49% of people agreed, so 51% of people would rather visit Orbit City than visit the Death Star, think about that, Bikini Bottom or Monsters Inc, Monsters Inc, you're literally disappearing into a whole new world, but it's the same with Bikini Bottom, I think I'm going to go with Monsters Inc, I think I just prefer that. 59% of people disagree with me. Seems like we're getting a lot more disagreeing on this. Central Perk or Pony Indiana. Love both of these shows. They are absolutely hilarious. But it's going to have to be Central Perk. I mean, come on, it's Friends. If you did not enjoy Friends, I 
don't believe you have a sense of humour. And on that final one, 67% of people agreed with me. Yeah, I kind of guessed that that would be the case. So the next one, the questions that you're given are definitely linked to your answers. Plan your perfect summer and we'll reveal the age that you meet your soulmate. So come on then, tell me when I'm going to meet my soulmate because this, this is a lonely life. Where would you like to go on a week-long vacation? Prague, Santorini, LA, Bali, Mexico City or Venice? It's between Venice and LA. I mean, I feel like the nightlife in LA would just be amazing, but Venice is like got more beauty in it. But we're gonna go Venice. I'd like to go somewhere where you know, a, a bit of beauty in it. Which outdoorsy activity would you like to do this summer? Hiking, swimming, playing frisbee in the park, playing volleyball on the beach, kayaking, or fishing? The truth is, I would more like to sit in my house. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like going out. But out of all of them, the one that I'd probably enjoy the most fishing the most out of all of them. I know it seems like a boring answer, but which of these will you be doing with friends? Having a barbecue, having a picnic, going to the beach, going on a road trip, doing some camping, or going to an outdoor concert? There's so many people at an outdoor concert, so no, definitely no to that. Do you not just have an answer for get pissed? I suppose uh, at least two of them, the barbecue and the camping, you can get pissed. Let's go with the barbecue one. Do that out in your back garden, get some beers, get pissed. Which day trip would you want to do? Botanical garden, zoo, water park, museum, theme park, or sightseeing at historical landmarks? To be fair, out of all of them, there's none that I wouldn't really enjoy. I'd enjoy all of them. I think this is going to be the one, yeah, sightseeing with historical landmarks because, yeah, it's interesting. Which summer blockbuster will you make sure to see? Ant-Man and the Wasp. Mamma Mia, here we go again. Cra rich Crazy Asians, is that, is, 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 are we going into like racial stuff now? I, 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 I just don't get it. Mission Impossible Fallout. Jurassic World, The Fallen Kingdom, or Oceans 8. It's gonna be Ant-Man and the Wasp, it's just got to be comic book geek. Do you expect more than that from me? What drink do you plan on enjoying all summer? Well, the truth is the World Cup is on this summer, so lager. <laughs> oh, they do actually have one for like lager, beer. Uh, frappuccinos, iced tea, lemonade, fresh orange juice, cocktails. But yeah, it's going to be beer. It's going to be having a few lagers while watching the World Cup. What kind of book are you looking to read this summer? A thriller, comedy, romance, sci-fi, drama, or non-fiction? Well, I've still not got round to reading uh, 12 Years a Slave yet. I've got that book sat over there, uh, and I've just not got round to reading it yet, so... Drama. I've got 41. <laughs> I've got a long way to go. It's gonna be... I'm gonna be 41 by the time I meet my soulmate. 17 years? You'll have waited a while to meet the person you're completely compatible with, but when you finally start dating each other, you'll realise it was always meant to be. Oh. Piss off. Literally, I have nothing else to say to that, just piss off. But there you go, that's the end of the video as well. I hope you did like it. If you did like it, give it a like. Uh, comment down below what you'd name a pet aardvark. Just, just because. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one.